Hello and welcome, Paul here, and this is Warframe. Now, you may remember me doing a video on this some time ago. And I do mean some time ago, it's been a little while. Uh, since I last played, a few things have happened. It's been released on Steam, there's been numerous content updates, they've reworked the mod system, there's new weapons, there's new war, you know, characters, Warframes, that's what they're called. A whole bunch of new stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, first things first. New weapons. I'm currently using two of them. Uh, this is called the Paris. It's a bow. It is pretty badass. It basically, if you hit a enemy, like if you kill an enemy with it, it will pin them to the wall. It will pin the enemy to the goddamn wall. Like a state gun from Payingula, or... Any other type of uh, game where you can just... I'm trying to think of games which let you uh, hang enemies off the wall with uh, stakes or arrows. There's a few. I believe you can do it in Skyrim. I'm not 100% sure. But yes, you can do it in this game. And I've got to say, it's pretty satisfying when it happens. Now, I should point out... There we go. Pin to the wall or... Through the other side, that's how hard it was, and now he's freezing cold out there and going crazy. Now, you may have noticed the bunny is. I probably should point out that this is due to Easter. They're having a bit of fun with it. If we run around, you all might see an Easter egg. It's basically a container that you can smash open for the goodies. Um, and all the enemies have Easter ears. Uh, Easter ears? Uh, bunny ears. So, yeah. Now as you can see on the right hand side there, I just picked up a mod and that was called Fusion Core. Basically, you can upgrade mod types with these Fusion Cores to make them more powerful. At least that's my understanding. Oh, I missed. No, you team kills. Okay, so this is the Paris anyway. I'm going to show you more of the mod system once we get out of this mission. Uh, I do want to show a new weapon though. I've got my new daggers called the Fang. Or fangs, whatever you want to call them. They are pretty sweet. They're very quick. They go through armor. So, any heavily armored enemies, they're going to make the make if they fight me. However, kids. However, you can still get bashed while uh, attacking, although I did pick up a plus 10% damage increase to melee attacks, which is pretty nice. And I missed. No, I am not Arrow. Brilliant show, by the way. Now, let's have a look, where are they? There we go. Headshot on the grenade seem to work really well. I've been fighting a lot of the corpus, which is pretty difficult in my opinion to uh, get a decent kill on, but... So he's down. I'm still using my pistol though. Whoa. Explosives everywhere. Okay, so apparently there's wall running now and they can actually pull that off. Yes! <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so yeah, as you can see there, there is wall <laughs> There is wall running. There is also uh, repelling. No, not repelling. Uh, zip lines. And what's the other thing I've added? Uh, wall running. It's like vertically wall running. I wonder if I can just show you. I need a decent wall to run up. Yeah, there's an easter egg that someone's broke. Anyway, it's definitely cool, and the good thing is, is that Warframe's now on Steam, so it's like the easiest way to pick it up now. You just download it and sign in, and you're good to go. So, definitely give it a... Definitely check it out if you get the chance. But as for weapons, there are a whole bunch. I'll show you the marketplace after this mission, but there's like axes, fist weapons some more staffs or staves. There's a lot of cool things. I've only just managed to create this bow today. I actually had the resources left over from when I last played. And um, I'm still getting used to it, so if I'm missing a lot, that's why. At least that's, the, that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Now, there are some new maps. I mean, some of this area may look newish. To be honest, I don't really remember. Actually, can I show you my real run? So, like, if I run up here, there we go. And we could jump back, but that's too far away. But normally you can jump back and grab. However, if there's nothing to jump back onto, what you'll do is you'll just run up and then you'll slowly slide down. And you can shoot people around you, which is kind of cool. 
I do wish there was a way to jump forward though when you get up top because I found numerous things I could have just ran up and then climbed up at the top but uh, fortunately there we go we'll stick him to the wall but yeah I'm definitely digging this also if you log in now I should point out because it's Easter they've released their Easter colour palettes and um, anyone can get it. I think it costs like one platinum but you're given like 75 platinum or 150 if you already had the game before you got it on Steam and yeah basically you can get like an extra colour palette which is kind of nice to have so definitely log in sooner rather than later. But anyway let's get this mission finished so I can just show you some of the other things. I'm probably going to do a few more videos on this because there's a bunch of cool zones being added like uh, maps, a uh, big outdoor one, and uh, another one inside an asteroid, which is pretty nice. I've got to say, though, this Paris, I don't know how you put it down yet. I think that guy in front of me knows how to, but like once you've got it drawn, how do you release it? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's get in there. When in doubt, just charge him. He did look pretty hilarious with his bunny ears, though. I'm not sure if the infected have them. We should definitely check that out. That might be quite weird. Oh, I have got messed up. I'm hurt. I'm very hurt. just hanging him off the ceiling here, I like that. I found it easier. Oh, what is that sticking off? I mean, that can't be good. Get it off. Ow. So I've definitely found it easier to aim without zooming in like this, because you, you aim to slow down to get you know better accuracy, but I've just found that I hit a lot more when just doing it by reflex rather than by purposely trying to aim. Now I say that I'm gonna miss every single bloody shot. Oh come on, one more and you're dead. Everyone's waiting for me. Oh, this is ridiculous. There we go, he's down. And the world rejoiced. Hey, Rubido, uh, Rubedo. So I'm basically going around collecting all these resources so I can continue building. Probably like most people, because I find my favourite looking Warframe is called Ash. And it requires a few items which I'm trying to gather at the moment. That's what I'm working towards a Warframe to build. And I do want to show you that Warframe, because to me, it basically focuses on melee and stealth, and they're my favourite things, so... Def something I definitely want to work towards and get done. So I'm way behind everyone here. Oop, come on. So as you can see there on the right hand side, Pistol plus 20 uh, multi shots, so uh, that could be for a certain weapon. Well, there's an egg there, let's go break it. You can't pick up the eggs, but you can pick up the uh, orbs and stuff that drop and the ammo, which is always nice. Curious, do these windows still break? Oh, yes, they do. Okay, that wasn't smart. Lock it down. Yeah, that wasn't smart of me. And now I think I broke every light in this area because of that. Anyway, the mission's done. That's good to know. Oh, 
We're just waiting on one more. Take time. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you the mod system now. I do like that sort of ending there. You just fly out into space. All badass like. Okay, so. Mission complete. Fantastic. Now, first of all, let me show you the new weapons. Of, well, here we go. First of all, bundles. I think it is. No, it's not. It's equipment. Uh, da, 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 da. Somewhere there's going to be something about colours. Here we go. There's an Easter palette here, which is like one platinum. So, I recommend picking it up while you can. It's got a whole bunch of colours. Maybe not to your liking, but it doesn't hurt to pick them up. Now, since I last played, they've added a bunch of like helmets and stuff that you can buy as well. You know, there's the Scorpion Helm for Ash the Avalon Helm for Excalibur, and so on, and they do add some various stats, I believe, like extra stamina and whatnot. Now, a bunch of this stuff, not quite sure what it is, there are some weapon skins. There are also pets like Shade and Worm, I don't know if that's the correct names for them. Yes, it is. You can buy the blueprint here, then you go around collecting items to build it, and then once it's built, they'll sort of hover around your head, and I think they'll attack stuff, I'm not sure. One of them makes you go invisible, I know that. Now, um... Actually, I said that the Easter one cost one platinum. I've actually brought that, and I haven't actually spent any platinum, so perhaps it refunds you. So that's something to think about. Now, I want to show you the mods. Okay, Arsenal, there we go. So, I'll look at the pistol first, because i got that most unlocked. Now, uh, as you can see here, this seek... Okay, the, the mod system has changed. Now, they have these little cards, basically, which show you what they are. Now, seek here, plus zero, one, to puncture. Now, you see there, it's got ten. That ten is what's up here. Basically, I'm seventeen on my pistol, so... I can have 17, I want to say 17 mods, but each mod has a value, so I could have like this and like another mod which is worth 7, for instance. In fact, while we're here, let's have a look. I don't need to reload that quick, but pistol damage is bloody nice, and that's only a 4. So we add that in there, you see that's dropped down to 3. Multi-shot. I'm not quite sure what that does, well, I have a good idea, but... Now, apparently I can upgrade this. Now, how do I... No, that's not it. There's a way to upgrade mods. Here we go. Now, normally, what I could do... Is... Let's have a look, where is it? What was it called? I've bloody forgot. So many mods here. All the freaking mods. Got three duplicates. That's good to know. So basically, the seeker mod. Actually, now what I need to do is take that off. So we go to the mods page. Now I have seeker here. I put that there. Now I believe I can upgrade it. So basically you can hit fusion here and you'll take one of these fusion cores which you do happen to find find as you walk around and it will consume that and it will basically up like the stats of it as far as I'm aware. But I believe you can also use duplicate mods to upgrade as well for the best sort of... See, yeah, here we go. I can choose the other seeker mod to apply onto this. That's going to knock it up to 11. What's it going to do, though? Cost me some credits. Sure. Now, what's the, sat uh, what's the stats now? Hmm. The stats haven't actually gone up. I'm going to have to consult a good friend on this. Okay, so I confuse it with other mods. So it's got that notch there. So it's actually better now, but I don't 
so that's kind of bad of me. I'm doing all this stuff. I have no clue what I'm doing, but uh, it is better, apparently. But to be honest, I'm not too worried at the moment. I'm just sort of messing around, trying to get used to it all. Since I've up updated that anyway, let's bung it on there. That's 11, so that drops me down. I'll apply that. There we go. I do have some melee ones. Yes. No, I cannot use that yet. Actually, I'll get rid of the fire rate because we don't need to be attacking that fast. But I'll take the damage because the fangs are kind of light on the damage side of things. So, we've got that there. I'm going to apply that. Now, you can change the colours on weapons, although it doesn't seem to do much on the daggers here, even though I have tried changing them. Okay, that changed, but what about the rest of it? It's going to work now just to show me up, I bet. Yeah, the rest of these don't really do anything. Don't mind me in red, it's just I'm sort of messed with a new colour scheme. I don't know how I actually ended up with this colour scheme, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I clicked blue and all of a sudden it changed, but that works. And the same with the bow, you can... or the Paris, as they call it, which is a really weird name in my opinion. But yeah. And then we have a bunch of... Oh, and as far as mods go, your special abilities, like the, the Slash Dash, at least for Excalibur, Slash Dash, uh, the Javelin, which I could never use before unless I locked my accounts, like uh, I unlocked the Warframe by spending Platinum. You don't have to do that anymore, so... And then here we've got our Super Jump and Blind. So that's pretty, uh, pretty handy to know that you just pop them up there like you would a normal mod. And yeah, there's a... A few other things I do want to show you, but I'm afraid this video is going to get a bit too long if I do them now. But what I will do is get some videos recorded of the various areas that you can check out. I'm hoping to unlock some more warframes to show you them, uh, seal the powers they do. If anyone's interested, um, if you want to have a game with me, just add my name, it's Paula. I'm not on here all the time, but when I am on, I'll go from my contacts list and just friend you if you've uh, sent me a friend's request and uh, yeah it's uh, easier now because before if I can show you basically when you get a blueprint and you want to build something like I'm building the ash warframe say you know for the ash systems I, I need the chassis the helmet and the systems here then I can build the whole complete warframe and that takes three days I mean it's gonna take a while if you want it sooner, buy it from the marketplace. But anyway, the control module, for instance, used to be rare. No one really knew where it was, um, but I guess now it tells you. So, for instance, let's look at Neptune over here. You see in the top right, it will give you a bit of background on the planets, but it will also say the resources that you can find. And you see there at the end, it will say control module. So it shows where the rare resources are as well. Now, those tend to drop off the assassination missions. If we go to Neptune and have a look and go over here, you'll see there is a, an assassination mission. So I wouldn't try doing that now until you got some, got some shields and health because I got destroyed there. But uh, definitely worth, worth keeping an eye on. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show you a little bit of Warframe since the update. I'm going to get some footage of the new outdoor zone and the asteroid. And, uh, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Join me next time.